Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Stone Blocks. I hope you are doing fine. So today we have to get organized and automate some stuff. Let's get started. I heard the chicken. Oh, there's a chicken junkie. Or just a chicken. Well, it's food. I'm not complaining. I have already done some quests, so I made the flint mesh and then I did the iron mesh, which is here. We hand them over and I did not do the diamond mesh because I don't have diamonds. I have only two which I got from a loot bag, which I'm going to use it in order to make an automatic hammer. But first I want to solve the issue of food. We can get different types of seeds by sieving. And using a string mesh so I have prepared some dirt and if we get some potatoes I consider myself very lucky and I think I saw a potato oh yep that's actually the only thing we need oh sugarcane huh interesting also before I forget I wanted to try something can I make an infinite water source oh yeah then I don't need this I have prepared a small farming area and I'm going to use these sprinklers from Cyclic. They are very useful and uh, they allow you to have a lot of crops very soon. So that should hopefully solve our food problem. This is our farming area and it's nothing special, it's nothing big, but it will do. Perfect, we have our small little farm. Um, I just have to wait for the potatoes to grow. I guess it wouldn't hurt if I put this one as well. Yeah. Do I have bone meal? No. I'll go get some. In order to get diamonds, we need to make a lot of gravel and sieve it through an iron mesh. So that will give us 1% chance of getting diamonds. Also, while we're here, I might as well make the auto sieve because that's also one of the quests and I have all the ingredients, except wood. And one auto sieve. Yes. Ah, and I already got another one of those uh, spectre coils. So we have two of them. We can probably power one sieve and one hammer. And then life will be good. Um, I think someone does not understand the concept of 1% in the pack development group because I went through like 1000 gravel and I only got 4 diamonds. Yes. 1 diamond mesh and 1 auto save. Yes. This quest line is complete and now what I want to do is to make an auto hammer as well because that will save our lives. Yes, auto hammer, auto sieve and we have a cobblestone generator. That's the foundations of automation. Oh, and we got a loot bag with cryo stabilized flux duct. Uh, okay, I guess that's nice, very helpful. Um, I'm guessing the main question is, will this work? Okay. Ooh, yes. So can I put a hammer inside? You don't need a hammer? Huh. Oh. Uh, oh, you don't need a hammer. So, oh, these are upgrade stalls. I think. I don't remember. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. And of course we have an auto sieve, so we put the power on top and we put a mesh inside. And we take the gravel, we put it in here and it will sieve it for us. Lovely. So you can put a diamond hammer inside and it will increase the speed. But it's not very efficient. Because uh, that has a durability and it's going down. Anyway, let's see what we get in our loot chest. <sighs> nice. 
One thing that I want to do right now is to get into Tinker Smeltery because I need to make a hammer and for that I need to process uh, metals <laughs> because digging out all these areas is very time consuming and if I get a hammer life will be so much easier. So I made a lot of sand and a lot of gravel and I need a lot of clay. And we make a lot of grout. And while the rest of that is cooking, I think I can submit this? No? You need more? Ah. Now everything is ready. Why aren't you detecting these? Okay, I don't care. As long as you're giving me the reward, I really don't care. And we should have a loot chest. Glowstone ingot. That's not very useful. Uh, we found like 12 Yellorium in the previous episode and... Yeah, you cannot change it back. Oh boy. But... You said I can convert it. Uranium-238. Uh, if I... No. Let's not do that. Because <laughs> I will die if I unblock this. Okay, so that went to waste. In any case, our smeltery is now complete. We have lava and we can start making the patterns. I'll be right back. In order to make the cast, we need to have access to gold or we can make molten aluminium brass, which is just a alloy of copper and aluminium. I got aluminium and copper from sifting. We just uh, mix them inside the smeltery with a ratio of 1 to 3 and it should be fine. I hope, because it should give us a lot of aluminium brass. Yep, that is great. Okay, so I have prepared most of the parts, but I need to make a very good pickaxe head in order to, when we go to the nether, to mine cobalt. And the only thing that can do that is obsidian. And in order to make obsidian, we just mix lava and water inside the smeltery and we get one block of obsidian. It should cool down though. Yeah, that is great. Why did I do that? Ah, uh, that had to go in there. We melt it again. And the obsidian pickaxe set with a mining level of cobalt. And we upgrade our tool forge so that we can make the hammer. So, uh, you, you, and you, and where's the rod? Yes, one hammer. So this has magnetic modifier and XP. So when I mine stuff, things get attracted to me and I will also gain a lot of experience. That is great. And now I can also switch my pickaxe like so and with an iron tool rod. Good. Um, also, I have to repair this one first. And one iron sword. Great. Now we are very well equipped. But there are no mobs. Huh. Well, this is not an automation. It's just merely a convenience. So I just put a hopper on top of the crucible. It will feed its cobblestone. There's a transfer node. Lava goes into the iron drum. And I don't have to fill it in manually all the time. Uh, for now, this will do. And I don't like lava generators or lava dynamos. I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, so we're not going to use lava for power production. This will do for now. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but... If you give this guy food, he will work faster. There you go. I wanted a little bit of yellorium so that I can make that stupid yellorium block. So we have nine. Let's hope the recipe is correct. And yes, it is correct. That is great. So our lava production has been buffed a lot. Oh yeah, that is very fast much faster than it was. It's like 20 times faster. That is good. 
So this is the tent obsidian and I believe we can now go to the nether. Uh, where is the quest? Yes. Okay, that is great. Now we can go to the nether as well. Let's also open this stupid loot bag and... I'm not being lucky. I was luckier in the first episode. Going to the nether with this garbage armor is not going to be very nice. So, we have this glowstone ingot from Mechanism. I don't know what it's used for in this pack, but it's easy to make. So, what the least I can do is to make a nice armor with it. Uh, it gives me decent protection, so I don't mind. And... Yep, I even look cool. Haha. <laughs> oh, and it's... It's actually very good protection. Okay, so let's go and see how the nether looks like. What the... Should I run? Oh, they're chickens! Soul sand chicken. Can I eat them? Well, let's get what we are here for. Uh, cobalt. Oh wow, another fortress! That's great! Uh, maybe I can find a wither skeleton and, I don't know, we can maybe make a cursed earth mark farm. That would be much better. <gasps> Draconium! Can I mine this? Oh wow! I think we have enough to make the grinder as well. Okay, so maybe I should start looking for another uh, wither skeleton. Uh, have I ever mentioned how much I hate the nether? Yeah, I, I don't care. Let's get the cobalt and go back. Prosperity ore. Well, our journey to the nether was very successful. Now we have a cobalt pickaxe and a manually sword. How much does it increase? Ooh, from 6 to almost 11. That is great. And uh, since I got a lot of prosperity shards, I think I can also do one quest here. Detect. Yes. So, what did you give me? Invar hammer. Okay, yeah, this is getting bad. <laughs> also, I think we can complete some quests here. So, this is the tier 3. For cobblestone generator and I can just go back nice and this one detect submit which one the middle one okay I don't have gold that is a problem uh, speed upgrades okay um, I made a small mistake so tier 4 of the cobblestone generator requires blaze rods uh, not gold it was Yellow, I thought it's gold. Hi. Uh, okay, it's... Oh, that looks cool. Oh, huh. blood. Okay, that does look cool. Um, anyway, I have to go to the nether again. See you shortly. Oh my god, look what I found. Wither skeletons. Oh, three of them. Oh, good. Okay. Did I get it? Yes, we have a skull and a drop of evil. That is great. So, one tier 4 cobblestone generator. We hand it in. Um, this is complicated. And now we upgrade it again to tier, oh, not here, here. We upgrade it again to tier five. Uh, 
We don't need tier 5, I'm just doing it because of the quest, otherwise uh, I, I don't even have a use for the cobblestone that we have. Uh, no? Okay. Cool. Oh, my loot bag. Uh, let's empty our inventory a little bit and then we can see what we get. Are you kidding me? Um, okay. Chance cubes. Um, I never played with them. Uh, yeah, we do it. The best place to make a mess is the nether. What the? <laughs> Okay, I'm gone. Bye. Oh god. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay, so that was close. <laughs> anyway, now we can also go to the Aromas Mining Dimension. And we just need to make the mining multi-tool. Or we don't do it right now. There's no hurry. 59,000? 59,000! 59, Are you sure? How do I even make this? I don't care if this is difficult or not, but... I can make a crafter from RF tools. We have a tier 5 cobblestone generator and we have power. So we should be able to craft it fairly soon. Let me get started and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have the recipe for the queen topple, but I'm not even near there. Uh, these transfer nodes are very slow and I do not have a means of transferring cobblestone faster. Unless I do it manually, I can do it a little bit. Or I AFK. We'll see which one is easier. Yeah, I'll probably AFK because I can transfer like 2000 cobblestone. This is... I'll AFK. See you in a while. I thought while we are still making these cobblestones, I did some quests and we can just hand them over. So I have this one and claim. Then I have, of course, this one, which is claim. This is all thanks to our trip to the nether, so that was a good trip. I'm very happy for that. And this one, and I also made this one, the crafting seed. So, oh my god, this is buggy. And this one, so detect, claim, and of course the furnace. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't have anything else. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so we just put them back and open our loot cases. Give me something great. Okay. Something greater. Punji sticks. Something great. Ooh, that's actually nice. Can I uncraft them? Eh. Uh. Okay, that's actually very good then. Thank you. Resonant upgrade kits. <laughs> and Black Lotus. Okay, so quest-wise, it wasn't that bad. Ah, finally, we have one queen topple compressed cobblestone. That's almost 60,000 cobblestones. Um, I don't think it's meant to be to go to the uh, mining dimension this episode. Um, I'm happy with the progress that we did today. I mean, well, it's the second episode. We knocked up a bunch of quests and we're actually doing fine. We were very lucky because we received these specter coils because uh, they allowed us to automate some stuff. I still have to do some pipings, make these things fully automated, craft maybe a few more of them, but that's all for the next episode probably. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one.
बाय बाय